question. What qualifies? What, what is the purpose of this conversation? Right. I would say the purpose of this conversation was asked. is you no, know, just now he just asked, asked the question. What is the purpose, purpose of the conversation? Yeah, what is the purpose of the conversation? And I would say the purpose of the conversation is to deal with the question of identity in order to achieve unity. So you cannot have unity without identity. And I, the issue of blackness and Africanness is an identity crisis issue. Identity crisis issue. So therefore, this identity crisis between blackness and Africanness and the other um, is the cause of black or African disunity, which, which results in the fact that African people of African descent are subject to the power of white supremacy because they are unable to unify effectively against white supremacy, whilst white supremacists are very well organized and very tight, tightly identified. May I say this? Go ahead. Can I, can I, can I for the audience, because we have some understanding Previous. of this. Mm -hmm. So, can I say for the audience mm. that the scenario was painted that this gentleman was an African chief mm. and he was a successful African chief who um, looked after his people and this comes under African nets. Now the scenario was put that if a white well, you to, woman you have to believe this arrived to his village and said she wants to become an African, if you don't think yes, something that's work, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, could this take place? So could a white woman become African as a part of? Africanness. So the point he made as chief of the village was that if the white woman passed some initiation tests and was accepted by himself, the chief, as well as the people, that white woman could put away her whiteness and then contribute to the African community and whereby she would become an African. So the, the issue was, yes, a white woman can become an African and be part of the community. This gentleman was opposed to that. And so now we're going to hear, but was, was I correct in, in my summary of, right, so, so this chief, if the white woman passes a criteria as laid down by the chief and his people, she may become an African. This gentleman was opposed to that, saying that there's no way the white woman become, could become an African. So now we're going to hear his side of the argument. Okay. Why cannot this white right. man become an African? So I'm going by this whole thing that we have down here. So after we have the entry that, that says white here, I'm not quite, I don't recall entirely how it got there, but then we got these other bullet points beside Africa, which says born of African heritage, of African state of mind, which is one of the pretty crucial ones here, seeing as in all other respects, the white woman doesn't qualify. So, not African born, of no African heritage, definitely not phenotypical appearance of an African. So, this was the area in which, you know, my honorable friend over there centered his case, which was on the state of mind. Now, First, some of my answer was there, was, was, actually, was actually stated during like, last week's discussion. Where, I, where I began by saying that nobody simply becomes anything. Right? I used an, I used an analogy with, from, my, from my background of... Hold it, you said nobody, nobody simply, simply becomes, becomes anything. No. There's a process. A process. There's a process. Yes. Nobody simply becomes. Yes. So we agree with so that. So irrespective of whether this woman makes a pledge or undergoes some kind of arbitrary examination. Arbitrary process. examination. Process. Well, yeah, because 
if I'm going back and to be quite honest, to be quite honest, when the whole discussion was going on, you know, the emphasis was on this brother being the chief. So, in other words, you know, the final word. The final word is the chief, chief which, is, and which, which is arbitrary. No, 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 no. You're adding that part there that wasn't because, you know, there's people who aren't here now that were there then that also contested the idea that was put forward because that last little caveat that you put in there. Yeah, yeah, come in. You can come in. No, you can come in. I knew you would. That last little caveat there that you put wasn't present in the original discussion. Okay. Not the chief and the people, it was the chief. Well, and it was someone else who pointed well, out that. Let's confirm that it. Was, let's, let's confirm it. Okay, go on then. Now, in your initiation process mm. for this white woman who wants to become an African, um, is the opinion of your people significant in your decision making to whether she can become qualified as an African or not? Yes, the decision of the people is significant. Because experience will tell you, if you go into any group of people and they don't accept you and they reject you, you have a problem. Even in, in the workplace, in a work environment, if you go into a work environment and your work colleagues don't accept you, they can make your life hell. So it is partly the acceptance of the village. I propose and I put forward my criteria, but the other half is also on, let's say, the white ladies opinion of who she wants to be and the other part is of the villagers themselves but also right. this, this this white lady has some uh, skills and abilities that we are lacking in the village right and some of the villagers have realized that and to have the assets right of someone with those skills yes um is is, is somewhat is, is a great thing is a good thing right so, do you understand that point? I, I get the point, yes. I do get the point. It doesn't necessarily um, tend, you know, it doesn't amount to me concurring with the point, but I do get the point. Yeah. So, let me just make that clear first. Yes. Okay. Right? <laughs> now, I was interested in that analogy where he spoke about the workplace environment. Now when you go into a workplace environment, there is a sort of what you might call um, policy. Right. There is a, a tribal policy. There is a standard for which yeah, that's a standard for which you know people be accepted. Now so you can I mean one respect of this is would be, would be true, and another case would be the converse would also take place. Converse. So let's say you come into a working environment, you know, you go through. No, no, no. You go through. What's that? Why do you He's say the analogy? Let's not go into the workplace environment. Let's stick it with the African. We're dealing with Africanness and blackness. All right, fine. He's, he's, okay, he's if, if we're going to stay there. Scenario with the, uh, he's an African chief. If we're going to stay there. Yes. If we're going to stay, stay there. African then I'm just, I'm just going to have to go with what I was going to, what I was saying all along. Yeah. Okay. What are you saying? This is where you stopped me, which is that I'm still sticking with that. Nobody simply becomes anything. No. Irrespective. Why not? Irrespective of the valuable skill. Why? Yes. Okay, then this is where you stop me and my, my own analogy, which is nothing to do with, nothing to do with um, um, office politics, but it has to do with the, the idea of beco becoming. Do you want to be coming? Do you want to be Have you got one? I've got, I've got some. That's, a, that's okay. Stay focused, stay focused. I've lost my focus.
Tschüss.